All right, what's up guys? Um, so news is we're gonna go to an app for, for tracking workouts now, instead of doing the old whiteboard. Um, it's gonna be called Sugar Wad. We're gonna show you what it looks like and kind of how to do some stuff. Um, so that's what we're gonna do. So starting next week, we're gonna do that, starting Monday. Um, that is also, if you download that app, that's where you're gonna see uh, the, the workout of the day. We're not gonna post it to the blog anymore, so we're just gonna use that app to do all of that stuff. Um, so how it's gonna go is, we're gonna have the coaches, there's just gonna be like a log book at the gym and the coaches are just gonna sign you in. So like if there's 10 people, they write down the 10 people's names at 5.30 on Monday, whatever, that's what we're gonna do. And the reason we're gonna do that is because we want to know who's coming, who's not coming. So if you're not coming, like why aren't you coming? We need to reach out to you. We're trying to keep this community strong and we like to reach out to those people that aren't coming and see what's going on in their lives if they need help with something. So that's why we wanna still write the names down just so we know, you know, is someone not showing up for two weeks and where are they or whatever. So that's why we're still gonna write down names. The coaches can do that. You don't have to really worry about that. Um, <clears throat> so they're gonna keep track of it that way. Um, as far as Sugar Wad goes, <clears throat> uh, this is what the app looks like. So it's just like that right there. That's the app. And then when you click on it, uh, so let's say this would be for Monday, you can see what Monday's workout was, what the accessory was, and then you would just post your results there. So there's already four results, right? You can look and see. It has somewhat of a leaderboard, so the fastest one's at the top. Um, if they're scaled, they're down there, whatever. Um, and then same thing for the accessory. So that's kind of how we're gonna do it. As far as announcements go, they're gonna be up right above, so it's really simple to see the announcement right before the workout of the day. So it's pretty simple. The reason, <clears throat> the reason we're gonna do Sugar Wad, um, so a couple reasons. Number one is now that uh, we have two gyms, it's really hard for me to keep up on whiteboards and to see everybody's score because I'm not at both gyms all the time and we're all over the place. So that just helps us keep more in touch with the community and our members because I can come on here and I can see everybody's score from both locations. Um, so it just makes it a little bit easier in that sense. So it's easier to keep track of the scores and it's really simple. All you have to do is literally you're done with the workout. Everyone freaking has their phone because they're obsessed with them in this world anyway. So it's really simple to click on it, type in your score. Oh, I did it at this weight. Boom, log in the results, you're done. Um, it's probably the same amount of time as it is to yell to someone to put it on the whiteboard. Um, the second reason that we're doing this is because this is a great, this app is great um, to see progress, right? If you put in your scores, it's really simple to see the progress. Um, if you put in your PRs or whatever, it tells you the percentage of those PRs when we you know, do 100 maxes or whatever that is. So it's really simple in that sense. Um, <clears throat> and that's why we want everyone to try to log in and use this app is to see the progress. If you don't put in your scores, then you may be making progress, but you don't know because you're not putting in your scores. Or maybe you feel like you're not making progress, but you probably are, but how do we know? Because you didn't put in your scores. So putting in your scores kind of helps me as, a, uh, as the programmer see the progress and know what to program, right? Like with, if people are putting their scores, I don't really know what people are good at and what people suck at, what people need work on because I'm not seeing any scores. So that helps me as a programmer know what we need so you guys can keep improving. So that's why we like scores. And, and we want everyone to try to input on this is because we're gonna be able to see the results, we're gonna be able to see the progress, we're gonna be able to communicate with people and see what people need work on, what they struggle with, what they're good at, whatever. Um, with this one, it's also gonna take care of doing retests. So anytime we retest, let's say we name the workout, let's say it's a benchmark, it's Fight Gone Bad, right? And we do Fight Gone Bad a year ago. Well, when we redo Fight Gone Bad, you can go and click on that app and see the old score and what you got on that old score, and then there you go, instead of looking at the whiteboards like we used to do. So that's another reason to post. So when we do retest, you can also track the progress that way. Um, another reason is it's gonna give you a little bit of competition if you want that. We're gonna combine both gyms, so Morgan and Kaysville are gonna be both. Um, right now, it's all just gonna be on CrossFit Unknown. I know through Sugar Water, I'm trying to communicate with them that they said they could do like a virtual box where both gyms combine, and I don't know if that changes at all, but regardless, both gyms would be on the same one so you could see like, oh, so-and-so in Kaysville, I'm really close to them, so I'm gonna try to beat them or whatever. So if you care about that, it gives you a little bit of competition. Um, it's also gonna make the workouts more private. So in order to do it, you have to download the app and then we have to approve of the people that enter into the CrossFit Unknown. So we can give, uh, what we do is there's gonna be, the first like week or two, it's gonna be anyone can do it and we can see who shows up. And then after that, people that come on, there's a little passcode you have to enter in order to sign into 
ours. So it keeps it more private. So you're paying for the privacy instead of posting the workouts on the blog where everyone can see it for free. It's just a little more privacy for you guys. So, you know, you're paying for it. You might as well not let everyone see what you're doing. Um, <clears throat> so that's kind of like some of the reasons that we're doing the sugar wad um, and why we want to use it. So it's going to start next Monday. That's when we're going to start it. So if you can download the app, the app, load it, the app is free for you guys to use. All you have to do is click in it. I believe you type in your email and then you search for your gym and the gym is obviously CrossFit Unknown. And that's where you can put it in and then we can kind of see from there. So if you don't understand, ask a coach. We've had the coaches play around with it a little bit. Um, but it should be really simple to just literally put in your score. We'll have coaches still remind you to be like, hey, make sure you put in your scores because what happens is people forget, of course. So we would try to make it just like after the workout when you go to the whiteboard and you tell the coach what you got, same thing. As soon as you're done, boom, get your score, write the workout, and then go to the accessory or go to whatever we're doing. Um, and that's what we're going to try to do. We hope, we think that this is really going to help um, everyone with, you know, being able to see more progress and be able to see PRs and helping us with the leaderboard and helping me keep track just because it's so chaotic right now. I'm just really struggling to do it. So that's why we want to do this. So um, that's what we're going to do starting Monday. So keep that in mind. So this is the last week we're going to do the vlog. So download that app. We'll have the coaches remind you. Um, but that's what we got. So I hope you guys like it and enjoy.